with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Well, with the hot, dry conditions we've had in place for most of the month, wildfire danger, as we've been talking about, has been very high the last several days in particular. And this morning, we are still very warm. This contributes to high fire danger when our temperatures don't drop very much overnight. Look how much warmer we are compared to 24 hours ago in Pocatello, 22 degrees warmer. 10 degrees milder in Boise right now. We're still in the mid-70s in Boise. It's warmer everywhere across the Gem State compared to Monday morning, courtesy of the clouds and our hot afternoon from last night. And we do have a couple of wildfires to talk about this morning. In particular, we have the Golden Fire that is burning about five miles east of Pioneerville. And then the lightning-caused Warm Fire that's about three miles southwest of Bull Trout Lake. So there's been no evacuations or closures uh, in effect yet. Uh, except from the Bull Trout campground. Some campers were removed from that campground as a precaution. But uh, again, we don't know the cause of the Golden Fire, but that warm fire started by lightning. You can see it there just west of Stanley. And we do continue those fire concerns today. We have a fire weather warning or a red flag warning in effect for pretty much all of southern Idaho, stretching up into the east central mountains again until tonight. It's just for most of our Tuesday because of the possibility of more lightning caused wildfires due to thunderstorms in the area. Now, this morning, as we look at our current radar and satellite picture, the green, of course, indicates rain. The yellow indicates heavier rain as we look at this loop from the last three hours or so. Most of the activity this morning has been centered around the Twin Falls area. A couple of showers popping up, though, pretty much uh, everywhere across our viewing area. A couple little sprinkles around Stanley and Sun Valley, McCall, Cascade, even down into Weezer. A couple of showers being picked up there as well. So this is all coming in from the south, but this is the last gasp of this system. You can see we have expired those fire weather warnings to the south. They're no longer in effect for Nevada and Utah, so the unsettled weather will hit Idaho today and then overnight tonight, move move off to the east and kind of start dissipating and dying out. That will allow for some scorching conditions over the end of the week as an upper level ridge builds in. We're talking record challenging heat by Thursday. Very warm today again, mid to upper 90s across the Treasure Valley. Once again, with that mix of sun and clouds and identical to Monday, it may feel just a little muggy out there as we have that moisture in play more so than yesterday. So we have that better chance of some thunderstorms favoring the east central mountains, but I'm not ruling out the possibility even in the valley or here in the McCall area. We could pick up a couple of stray storms. It's not completely out of the question. 85 from McCall and Cascade today, mid-90s as you head up into Riggins and then over into Council. Over in Stanley and Sun Valley, because the storms will likely be a little more prevalent, temperatures won't be as warm. We're looking at mid-70s for Stanley and Sun Valley. And keep in mind, these storms, along with the lightning, could cause some gusty outflow winds up to 50 miles per hour. So that's a big concern here as well. If you do get those lightning strikes that spark wildfires, temperatures around 90 for Twin Falls with the showers this morning and some storms this afternoon. Now, as far as my extended forecast goes, we are talking about that heat on Thursday up to 105, potentially 102 on Friday, hot, sunny and dry all the way through the weekend.